What's up, YouTube? EWD33 here. Um, just got finished uh, watching the Cardinals Astros game, and the Astros hit a walk off hit to keep that lead after the Braves played like crap today. Let's just put it out. We'll talk about that. But, I mean, big, big, big clutch win for the Astros. Keeps us one game up with two games left. We couldn't ask for anything better. I mean, the Astros are the worst team in baseball, but damn, they they definitely gave us new life tonight. And I got to take my hats off to every single one of you Astros players. Wandy Rodriguez, what's your name? Bourgeois, the one guy get the – then um, I think it was not Tolls. Um, whoever hit the two-run homer to put him up four – they obviously, Cardinals obviously battled back 4-4, bottom of the 10th. They uh, got a double, then an air on a sacrifice bunt, put a man on first and third, no outs. And then I think it was just a, basically just a single through the gap. I'm not quite sure. I was watching it on game channel, MLB.com, where it just showed you, it didn't show you the game, it just showed you play-by-play. So I don't really know what happened. I'm watching baseball tonight. They'll probably tell us then, but, I mean, thank God for that Houston Astros win because that gives us new life. But now on to the Braves. We went up 2 nothing. Randall Delgado pitched good three innings. Fourth inning, gave up a run. I think we... Fifth inning, we took him out. Fourth inning, I mean, shit. the fact that we put a rookie on the mound in a game that was on postseason implications is beyond me. I mean, it looked like he was going to do awesome, but he just started getting high pitch counts in the third inning. He had a high pitch count, but he was able to escape with no runs. And then fourth inning, I think he had thirty over thirty pitches with a run, and put us uh, still up 2-1, then they brought in Christian Martinez and gave up a solo home run to Jimmy Rollins. And then they scored twice after that, once off of, um, no, Christian Martinez, what was it? Actually, it was two, two, Delgado gave up two runs, a home run to Jimmy Rollins. Then Christian Martinez came and got the first out, then um, gave up a double, and then Raul Bonas came in and knocked him in, um, and uh, put him up three and three, well, three two, and that was pretty much all she, they all she wrote because we didn't do anything after that. I am a little angry because we did after the first two runs. I think we ended up leaving six, no, seven, seven men stranded on base, including one where we had man first and. First and second with no outs, and we didn't do anything. I mean, Jesus, we got to play better. We're playing the Phillies for postseason implications. I mean, this is what it all comes down to. And for us to leave seven men on after scoring two runs is just ridiculous. It's just, it's not good baseball, and it's not postseason. That's not playoff eligible baseball. You can't do that and make the postseason. And you can't do that in the postseason and win. So if we do make the postseason by, you know, a wing and a prayer, then we got to step it up because we can't be playing like this in the postseason. We're going to get knocked out the first round. So. Tomorrow, it's uh, Derek Lowe pitching for the Braves, and then Roy Oswald pitching for the 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 Phillies. Um, both of them have losing records, so it's not like Cliff Lee who came out, gave up two early runs, and then shut us down pretty much. And then, you know, that was pretty much all that. So Roy Oswald is definitely their their weak link in their pitching staff, and we got him tomorrow. We need to capitalize on that. Lowe's got to do something. I mean, he's got to show some kind of – Jesus. Um, he's got to do something. Let's just put it that way. He can't pitch like he has been. 
he needs to pitch like he did against the Giants that one game where he didn't let up any runs and actually hit a home run. I was actually at that game. It's a good game. He needs to pitch like that. We need everyone to come out. Chipper needs to be doing what he's doing. He had a home run tonight. Um, shit, we, we need everyone to turn on. McCann needs to get out of the slump. He just, I mean, he's been absolutely atrocious. He's batting 180 in September with a home run, maybe two RBIs or something like that. It's atrocious. I mean, considering he was our best offensive threat pretty much the whole season, except for when Dan Ugly went on that 30-game hitting streak. That was the one time where Brian McCann was not our offensive threat. And then Freeman's been good, but Freeman, he's, I mean, you can't, Chipper and Freeman cannot control the whole offense. I mean, it's just, you can't put your put it on um, the veteran and the rookie. I mean, you could, but um, not with the way things are working and not with the way, the caliber of these NL teams. That are, I mean, they got the Phillies. You want to have a 100-game win after the night. Then you got the Brewers, and you got the Diamondbacks, who have all, I think, have 90 wins. You can't do that. You can't rely on your offense with two players. It just can't happen. So, you know, let's hope we can pull this out. We got two games left and one game up in the wild card. It is going to be a very, very, very nerve-wracking end to the Braves season. Hopefully not the end. Hopefully we play again on Friday because if we make the postseason, we will play on Friday. Hopefully we'll get that game on Friday, and hopefully this doesn't come to an end. But the end of the regular season is going to be extremely, extremely close and nerve-wracking. Go Braves. That's all i got to say. And go Astros. Incredible win tonight. You know everyone in Atlanta is thanking you. EWD, three out.